the Kempton Novices Hurdle is next. And we've got a good field for this. And we've got the top two. And both unbeaten. Our winners last week. It's a two mile five furlong Novice Hurdle. And Joshua Sutherland's taking himself on, theoretically speaking, and add insult to injury at the top. Bomb Theory for Leon van Rensburg. Chamaka Falker. Chamaco Falker, or Derek Hinton, Lord North, the Graham Clutterbuck, Punto Sand, Darren Thompson, Southern Optimist, Greg Beckwith, Substitute David Robertson, Wayward Jester, Leon Van Rensburg, Vidma Paul, Darren Thompson, Flamenco Dance, David Hooley, Foxtail Alex Cherry, and Petroglyph Raven for Padraig Hogan. A field of 13, quite a few making their debut, and called in and away. And add insult to injury down on this near side. Pulling for its head is the first to show. Stablemate, theoretically speaking, is also coming through to dispute the lead, but Substitute is the one that actually got the lead. As they take the first, well, that's now been taken on by Theoretically Speaking. So, Theoretically Speaking is in the lead. Substitute is second. Chamaco Volker, right over on the far side, is also up in that leading group. So, too, is Lord North. The leaders are right over on the far side at this point as they head down towards the second of the nine flights they've got to take in this one. Fox Tail is also now moving forward to join that little leading group, but they're basically just one big group again now. Maybe with the exception of this leader, theoretically speaking, who's gone on by about three. A line of three then, the stable mate to the leader, had insult to injury on the inside. And that one's outside is Lord North, and the red sleeves, and the pink and turquoise. Substitute with Chamaco Falker and the green and yellow on the outside just tucked in behind them. The Alex Cherry horse with a blue cap this time, Foxtail. As they make their way up the straight and take this flight, that'll be the second last next time round. Uh, theoretically speaking, he's in the lead. Add insult to injury is second. This one will be the last next time. Oh, they get over that one. Nicely, although Wayward Jester was a little bit untidy. Take a look at them from the stand then. You can see the different tracks here at Kempton. Back in for the big Boxing Day event soon. May even be close to Boxing Day this year when we have it. So it's theoretically speaking in the lead. Substitute is back in second. A good six, seven lengths back in second now. While we were doing our Look from the stand, the leader has increased his advantage to about six lengths and appears to be going pretty well as well. As so they get over the next, add insult to injury is second, substitute is third, Lord North four, then Southern Optimist and Flamenco Dance. Foxtail tucked in behind them, the Grey's Vidma Pool as they get over the fifth. Four are struggling at the back, include the two Leon Van Rensburg horses, Wayward Jester and Bomb Theory. Neither of them are really going at the moment, neither is Punto Sand and Petroglyph Raven, who was pulled up last week, is the back marker. So, theoretically speaking, he's really got them thinking about this, I think, setting a strong pace to this race. His lead is down to a little more than three now, and it's stable, mate, adding sort to injury. He is closing in second. Lord North is third, substitute is fourth, then Vidma Paul making a forward move. Flamenco Dance is going to need a little bit of a split boxing on the inside. So the Optimist, sorry, is the one that's going to need that little bit of room as they get over the sixth. They're all safely over that one. Just three to take then now. We're theoretically speaking in the lead, but the lead is diminishing rapidly. As Foxtail is the one that's dropping away now. Come down to this third last flight, and it's theoretically speaking who's going to take it in the lead. Jumps it well, gets away from it. Well, a stable mate, adding salt to injury, has gone after him in second. Then come the Darren Thompson pair, including Punto Sand, who was right out of the back a minute ago. He's now coming through to challenge for third. Flamenco dance on the outside. Substitute is still there. Southern Optimist has now got to run through. Lord North has been losing his place, but he's trying to get back into it. They're coming down towards the next, and they've just got two to take. And it's theoretically speaking who's in the lead from 
Punto Sound and Vidma Paul. Then comes that insult to injury Flamenco Dancer and Petrogniff Raven is also making some great ground now around the outside as they head towards the second last. It's theoretically speaking continuing to hold on to this lead from Ponto Sound in second and Petroglyph Raven who's come from nowhere in third as they head down towards the second last. Theoretically speaking in the lead, Ponto Sound second, Petroglyph Raven third, Lord North is trying to run on again in fourth as they come down to this second last and there's just two furlongs to go and two flights to take. Theoretically speaking, he's been in the lead all the way, lands in the lead again but Ponto Sound and Petroglyph Raven are coming to challenge and Ponto Sound pokes his head in front, Petroglyph Raven on the outside, theoretically speaking, he's trying to battle back as they head to the final flight, over it they go, and it's Ponto Sound, Petroglyph Raven, and on the near side, theoretically speaking, he's trying to get back into it, Ponto Sound, and theoretically speaking, theoretically speaking, he's poking his head in front again, and theoretically speaking, I think he's going to hold on, Petroglyph Raven dived at the line, but it was theoretically speaking, who theoretically speaking, I think has won, because I think he's got himself back in front, if he has done, that was a really brave performance, because he looked beaten, after they overtaken him and he's fought back well, he obviously knows his train doesn't want him to come second and I think he's won it on his own, it could be a dead heat but I don't think so it's a win for, theoretically speaking, for Joshua Sullivan. Petroglyph Raven has run a brilliant race anyway in second for Padre Gogan. Punto San for Darren Thompson, third. Bomb Theory for Leon Van Rensburg was right at the back and ran a while to be fourth. And Vidma Paul for Darren Thompson was fifth.